We have, I'm gonna coin him Steve, the burrito guy, Steve Faithful. How you doing, Steve? Pretty good, that's a name that I will happily take. <laughs> okay, so I was, I don't know how I found you on Instagram. I wasn't looking under like <laughs> hashtag burrito or something, but somehow it happened. But you, what's your um, Instagram account? Yeah, so my Instagram account is California Burrito Review. Okay, so but you, you review burritos all over Cal up the coast. How how did this happen? What was like the, the initial idea for this burrito empire? Yeah, definitely. So I'm actually from Pennsylvania originally. Okay. I moved out here to go for to school. UCSC. Okay. Yep, going to school out here. And on a tight budget, like uh, most college kids, looking for like something A, it's like pretty reasonably priced. Like if you're going to a sit down place, you're paying 12 bucks, gotta give a tip. We're looking yeah. for something reasonably priced. We're looking for something quick. And we're looking for something tasty. And let's just say a burrito fulfills all of that. The burrito is the perfect food of all time. It honestly, yeah. as cheesy as it sounds, burritos kind of bring people together. There's not many people who are like, nah, I just like don't like burritos. Like even if you're vegetarian, vegan, you, there's a burrito for everyone. Yeah, you're right. I've never heard someone say, no, I'm not a burrito person. Yeah. 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 But it really started, um, I'm a climber okay. at the climbing gym. First of all, burrito, perfect athlete food. We got the fats, we got the carbs, <laughs> we got the protein. So after climbing sesh, um, some of my friends, shout out to Zach and Paul, they were the original ones to be like, hey, let's get a burrito. And that kind of started where it all went. So every time after the gym, have a hard workout, a burrito hits the spot perfectly. So started going to all the different taquerias around Santa Cruz and just realized that like, there's so many places that try to produce the same thing and I just wanted to see which place can do it the best. And I mean, there is, there's so many variations of like you said, if you can be vegan, vegetarian, you know, you can be a total carnivore, you're going to, there's something for you in there. Yeah. Okay. So you started this Instagram, go ahead, you can go again. What's the, what's the Instagram account? California burrito review. Okay. So go there. So what we're going to find out and you know, of course you go all over California. So, you know, you can look at your Instagram, at his Instagram, you can find other, you know, other burritos in other places, but we're going to go over the top five in Santa Cruz and why. So let's start with number five. And I, I can imagine this might've been tough. It is definitely tough. Before we get into this, you got to think about the grading criteria. Okay. Oh, so what okay. we're looking at here, we're looking at first, how is it like when I go in the place, what kind of vibe are we getting? Like some places you go and it's like really quick. Some places are more like a sit down vibe. You get to hang out a little bit. So that's something you're taking into effect. Burritos delivered to you. Is it in tin foil? Is it in paper? Is it like, how's the presentation looking? But then we're getting serious. We're talking the tortilla. Got to have a good tortilla. Some people like it crispy. Some people like it a little more chewy. I'm somewhere, somewhere in the middle there. But then I think most important, we got to check out the meat. The meat, it's got to be good. Um, and then we're looking at toppings, we got guac, tomatoes, so yeah, lots of things we're looking at and usually on the review, if you watch the videos, I go zero to a hundred percent. Okay. You know what? I am so annoying when I go to top, uh, like a real taqueria and you know, you go to the topping section or whatever it is, you know, there's like that one bucket or whatever, and it has like carrots and peppers and like, I know exactly yeah, what you're talking and about. And I just take all the carrots. <laughs> You're, there's some people who'd be frustrated at you. Oh, totally. Like they get there, it's like, wait, where's the carrots? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. top five, to keep them all the same, I eat the super burrito with carnitas at every place. So. And, and you like all of these, of course. All five of these, oh, these are great ones. Absolutely. And there's yeah. so many good ones that don't make the list. There's like, I'm hard pressed to be in Santa Cruz, be like really upset with the burrito. Like some are better than others, but we're in a pretty good spot for authentic Mexican yeah. food, so. Okay, what's number five? Number five, maybe the most actually debated one, Taqueria Michoacan. So the real selling point on this one is their tortilla. Their tortilla is like homemade and it is like a game changer. Like usually the tortilla doesn't stand out that much for me, but they got a really good tortilla. They got a really good like mixture. I like when everything's like mixed together nicely. Yeah. Um, and they also had a sign out front claiming they had the best burrito. So that started off like, whoa, <laughs> hold on. I, I'm the one who decides that, so. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, number five, pretty good place. Where is that around? Where is that? That's, it's, like, pretty downtown. I'm forgetting the exact street. It's okay. Like, but, yeah. Okay, downtown check area. Check it out on my page. Okay, number four. Number four, Mijos Taqueria. Okay. Surprising spot. Um, it's down in Capitola, like, in a more touristy part of town. Okay. I was kind of scared we were going to get, like, an expensive, like, not that authentic burrito, but they really came through strong. First of all, you go in. Those people in there are the kindest people giving you 
the best ingredients. Um, really good meat. The meat's like kind of a smokier style. It's a little, mm, little different on the uh, meat there. They had a uh, really good guac. The guac tasted pretty fresh. That's and important. once again, just like a good mixture of like everything. It's nice when it all kind of congeals together. Okay, so before we get to number three, you can put your chair up if you want. I know it's kind of hard. Some of the things <laughs> I always like, they always fall when they're good. And I can feel yeah, more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number three. Number three, pretty popular in town. Many of this, Taqueria Vallarta. Been there many times. Very good place. And the selling point on this one is your protein to dollar ratio. Okay. It, it is high. <laughs> they got a lot of meat in there and it's pretty tasty. And once again, they got a lot of guac. They don't skimp on the guac. They don't really skimp on anything. They're hefty burritos for a good price. It's just a That's solid the one on Mission, it. right? Yes, yeah, so there's one on Mission. There's yeah, one on Forty First. There's one in Felton. Oh, I forgot Forty First one. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple places where they have like two of them. The next one, they have two of them. So these top two, I do like to say these ones are both a little like next level. Okay. Like okay. all the other ones are kind of a little grouped together. These two really stand out. Okay. We can't leave behind Santa Cruz Taqueria. Also two of them. One on Mission. One on SoCal. If I had to choose, I'd go with the one on SoCal. Okay. First of all, when you go in there, it's like a nice, like, relaxing vibe. Like, it's not super rushed. Like, if you want to go in there with your whole family, sit down, get a tasty one. And honestly, they just do everything really well. Like, every part of it, the tortilla, the meat, the pico, the guac, everything is, like, spot on. Like, it doesn't absolutely blow your mind, but it's all very good. So they just, really just an all-around good burrito. Awesome. And then, for the number one... The most debated. And wait, I have wait, to wait, hold on, hold on. Number one. Okay, we have to. There's some, there's, they need, we need some like build up oh, here. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get some build up. Okay, we're build up. Okay. Burritos are something special where it's like, if you like bagels, it's like, yeah, I just go to any bagel shop in town. People get heated. I'm gonna get some <laughs> dirty messages online for some people are angry. People like, they take this okay. to heart when I say this. So, controversial. <laughs> number one, Los Pericos. Oh, okay. It's, oh, wait, you had a, a tone in your voice. No, are you, I, thought, are you I, one thought of these people? I thought it was going to be something different. <laughs> yeah. terrible stairs right now. <laughs> yeah. No, they're um, great. I just thought it was going to be something different. Yeah, yeah. so really why we got to go with Los Pericos is I think they care about, like, the little things. Like, they care about their rice is so good. Obviously, their meat is very good, but things like their rice, their pico, their guac is all very good. They got the warm chips, a great salsa bar, and this is where it really gets heated. It's the grease they have not too much not too little some people yes. think there shouldn't be any grease but i'm not in that the grease has a little bit of grease lots of flavor that place hits the spot every single time i feel like they've been building up their clientele where now it's like i mean it's packed in out there. the door yeah 20 yeah they're open to they're also open till midnight later oh, really than, yeah, okay later than most taquerias so you're gonna be really jealous it's but there. for three years you know there's like a whole like condo right behind it uh -huh. yeah i lived right budding up to it like my wow. unit was right there so i, I definitely see. had the smell of it yeah. i don't that would be too tempting i would be like tortured all the time oh we took advantage of it we had <laughs> we, we we were no beyond tempted we just went yeah so awesome that's the five so we got to print this online so everybody can see the top five so yeah. what's next for you do you have like a I have to go to like this place in I, this town. I, I do think so. So even though all the ones in Santa Cruz are fantastic, I go zero to a hundred and the highest one, which was Pericos is only an 87%. Okay. So there's still much to be desired because I think I have the same roof for a, some taquerias down in Watsonville. Of course. And then you got to go down to the border, San Diego. I hear nonstop. Got to go to this place. Got to go to this place in San Diego, but there's still many more in town that need to tap out a few ones. That's definitely going to happen in the near future. We got Los Gordos and Aptos I haven't been to. Um, I might have to change up the Subaru of Carnitas to go for the breakfast burrito at Pleasure Point. Maybe one of the you most know, requested I was just burritos. just say that. Yep. Yeah, and I've not had that. I have to try that. Yeah, yeah. so. Have you tried Los Gallos in Scotts Valley? That's also another one. We're, yeah. we, we're sticking mostly in Santa Cruz until we went to most of those. Still have a few more, and then yeah. we'll start kind of getting out into that, like, Felt and Aptos area. Great. Awesome. Okay. So, um, if somebody wants to follow your reviews, it's just Instagram right now, right? Yep. Just Instagram right now. Yeah. Come give me a follow California burrito review. I think I have like 25 reviews on there. It's like a mix of me being funny and like reviewing the burritos, but 
definitely a good mixture of me just messing around with some friends. Good way to hang out with people. Awesome. Okay, hey, thanks for being on the show. And now I guess I know what I'm going to have for dinner. Thanks for having me. Go get a burrito, guys. Okay, let's play a little bit.